Hey! Um, so it's getting near Christmas. I am a Christmas freak. <laughs> and since I live with roommates and you can't just go around decorating their house and without them wishing, um, what I did was make my own or paint my own shower curtain. So you just want to go to like Walmart or something and get like a plastic one. I don't recommend fabric. It's not as easy to work with. And plus it also leaks through so you have to put something down below it. Um, but I just got like a Piva, um, which is the type because it's non-vinyl. So that way you don't get all those toxic fumes for like the first month that mess around with your hormones. Um, so I just got one of those in frosted white and then I based it around this Hello Kitty design. And um, so basically I just painted her in the middle. I just painted it a little bit different, you know, whatever. Picture. <laughs> um, so that I did that and for the snowflakes, I also at Hobby Lobby um, not also, but at Hobby Lobby, I got paints and the snowflakes. Um, so the snowflakes were basically just ornaments that were already cut out, and then, but they were made out of felt, so that way you'd be able to just use it as like a sponge, paint some paint on there, and slap it on. But you want to make sure you press it on very well, and it'll take a couple layers of paint, because it'll soak in a bit before you get a good one. Um, but I got two different designs, so that way I could play around with them and I just, you know, did a multicolored. Um, and you just want to use acrylic paints, which they shouldn't, once they're dry, you shouldn't be able to just, if water gets on them, they won't come off um, as long as they're dried. I mean, you'd have to scrub and get some other, you know, paint removing stuff on there in order to get it off or peel it. Um, but yeah, I basically just got a couple different colors. I got rose, Christmas green, white, sapphire, black, white, morning blue, and I got all of these except for the morning blue and black in metallic. Um, okay, and possibly the Christmas green, but everything else I got in metallic color so it will shine off the curtain a little bit better since I am doing a snowflake winter design on a frosted white. Um, curtain, I didn't want it to blend in too much. I wanted to have that light reflectiveness to it. <laughs> and, um, and then, yeah, and I just mixed colors. Um, like to get the purple I did for this, I was just mixing black with the bright pink, um, the white um, for her. <laughs> sorry, for like this part, you really want to take like a hairdryer. And dry the bottom layer first um, so that way it doesn't mix in and then just lay it on just layer it all up it's just about mixing colors and having fun with it it took about um, with a little bit of hair drying or blow drying it took about three hours to dry totally but that's with some spots that are you know caked on with paint um, and then I also it probably took me three hours to do just because I'm messy and I was watching a TV show at the time. But yeah, like definitely it's going to get all over you. So make sure um, <laughs> that you don't wear, sorry, that you don't wear clothes that you care about or whatnot. And, you know, like I got over my hands and my nails, obviously, and stuff. Oh, um, yeah, that's all you'll basically need. You want to use like a kitchen plate, cover it with some foil. Um, so that way you can put the paint on there to mix and stuff and then if you do like a couple layers of foil You just have to peel off the top one and you're ready to paint some more and throw the other one yeah, away Just let me know if you have any other questions um, I'll be happy to answer them because I'm not the best at explaining anything at all 